these are the parts that I want to combine into this one assembly and the top view assembled looks like this and when it's done there will be a shaft running from left to right and one from top to bottom and those two shafts need to be exactly perpendicular so while it's on the workbench I'll mount everything and then I have this 6mm aluminium shaft which I want set on but from here to here it should be straight so let's start I'm just gonna go get some bolts and nuts and washers BRB All this gets assembled with these nuts and bolts. These blocks are all printed in the same orientation, they're all the same blocks, but if I flip one over, it forms a unit like this. It goes in between these plates like so. Once this is glued and screwed in place, that this plate cannot move from left to right hopefully and if this plate can move from left to right then that logically must mean that this one can't either that should fix the plates in this direction let's start by inserting the shaft like so and to the other end as well Something like this. Not funny. Okay, let's do this differently. I'm just gonna start out like so. To fix these blocks in place, this drawing calls for a couple of screws, 3 by 16 I don't have 3 by 16 although I thought I did, I can't find them. So, slightly bigger screws with a slightly bigger head, so I reprinted these blocks, so the screw head will fit into this recess, like so. Which means, I can now finally proceed. I'm going to start with this plate, I'm going to mount two of these blocks to it. In the right orientation, like so. So the hook will point to the right on the right side and to the left on the left side, like so. And so. And then they need to have an offset of 3.5 mm from the edge there. So I put 3.5 mm on this. That's one. And that's two. Which used to be a screwdriver, but it got a promotion. This bracket and that one are screwed to this plate. Now using a clamp I'm going to apply a tiny bit of pressure. Now I have to ensure a couple of things. First that these brackets touch each other on both sides. And secondly I need the edges of both pieces to line up as good as I can. It will help later on. These two brackets in the front are fixed to this uh, piece. These back two are not, so I'm gonna use a little super glue. Well, the wood really soaked that up. I'm gonna give that a couple of minutes to set. Maybe I'll continue tomorrow. It's getting late. I've now loosened the screws on all eight of the pulleys, so they're free to move on their shafts. So now I'm basically free to twist this and when I do that this pulley and this pulley should rotate opposite from each other. And so they do. So now to ensure that both these shafts are perpendicular to each other I'll use the tool I just made. 
So here it is. The shaft can come out now. And also the springs can come off. Like so. Now I have two loose parts. I'll reconnect the springs. Now I can also use this to make sure that this shaft is parallel to this rail which it basically is and when I move it to the opposite side it's almost parallel just to make it clear the differences here are really negligible I can't even look through here everything seems to be parallel of course this is still wobbly that's just a case of tightening these This should be fine. I think everything is parallel and perpendicular. So I'm going to tighten all the screws now. I've tightened eight grub screws. This shouldn't be free to move anymore and it isn't. It's really tight in this direction and in this one as well. This has taken a week to make but it has done its job so it can come off now. And now I feel reasonably confident that these shafts are indeed perpendicular to each other. I'll put this aside somewhere on the shelf, maybe to be used sometime in the future. I've reattached everything, I've tightened down all the bolts, I've reattached the direct extruder which seems to be turning better than before. I also made sure that the end stops activate, click and click. So I think it's time to start up this machine and test if everything works as planned. Of course my main issue was with the extruder which caused the failed print but I'm not sure what to do there. So I'm going to hook it up and see what's what. At this moment the print has been going on for about 10 and a half hours and uh, it seems to have had no hiccups. So I think it has been running smoothly. I've been sleeping smoothly. Also I see no real signs of wear and tear. It's estimating that it's going to need another 15 hours but we'll see. The print is finally concluded. It says right there 5 hours and 7 minutes. That you actually have to add 24 hours to that. So that would mean the print took 29 hours. Which uh, about fits. The printer has run all that time without any issue. There's no signs of wear or play or anything. Also no problems with the extruder. It has run uh, reliably. So I'm pretty pleased. The print bed has cooled off. It went pretty easy and now finally I have the second half to this chassis. So I'm really pleased with the performance of the printer. This mounting tool really paid off. It took about two weeks but that had to do with stuff. The printer ran flawlessly for 29 hours without issue. I'm calling this uh, small project a success. So thanks for watching, until next time.